The Queen has spent her last full day in New Zealand in Christchurch, the city nicknamed the most English outside England. And after two potentially dangerous incidents earlier in the week, security men this time kept a high profile. For the security men, smarting quite a lot from criticism of their handling of this tour, it was a pretty tense day, but the signs are that they're beginning to get it right. After four days, the New Zealanders have at last put plainclothes men behind the crowd, where danger can be spotted when it's about to start. In the South Island town of Nelson, the job was being done properly and by men who had been accurately briefed. In Christchurch, the most English of New Zealand cities, though perhaps the England of 30 years ago, there were very big crowds and matching security. The Queen had the classic triple protection, a man 10 feet in front of her. Her own detective, Chief Inspector Peter Prentice, at her side. And a New Zealand Chief Inspector, head of security for the tour, 10 feet behind. Christchurch is probably the most loyalist city in the country. It even has a loyalist wizard, so the task was easier than usual. Anthony Carthew, ITN, in Christchurch. A lorry driver with the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra has been served up with the ultimate musical honour. Colleagues have composed an original work to mark Ted Lee's 60th birthday. It's called the Ted Lee Suite for Spoons and Sympathy Symphony Orchestra, and naturally Ted's the solo spoonist. Yep. The work's based on the Cockney classic Any Old Iron. <laughs> Next from ITN is Channel 4 News at 7, but from all of us here, a very good evening.